Okay, and our last movie. <laughs> they get the killer eye cornered. Bet you're wishing for some Ray-Bans now. That's right. You're gonna die. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, what? Yes! Yeah, oh shit. Cover your penis. Oh! <laughs> she has got her period. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Taryn, we need to figure out what just happened. Let's unload and hit the jacuzzi. <laughs> 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 Friend or enemy? I'm a friend. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best character in the movie. Oh, yeah. Long shot. It does lead to my favorite scene in the film. snake delivered here for the Department of Health. Now that snake has been infected by deadly toxins from cancer-infested rats. <laughs> I love that he delivered that line like he was making it up as he went along. It's been infected by cancer-infected rats. No! Which would make it, which would make it highly uninfectious. Right. That, that would make it dead. Yeah. You can't catch cancer! I think they're gone now. Yep. They're, they're right, right next, next to you. you! Look out, he's got a gun! What? 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 Why? Any of that to me. Like reveling in murder. I guess. I don't yeah. know what that was supposed to be. And then the very end of the movie, after they have reveled in the blood of their enemies, <laughs> is a little title card. <laughs> I could have used this video because when I was younger, mm. I almost burned down my grandmother's house cooking French fries. Just like the kid in the video almost burned down his grandmother's house. I didn't throw water on it. Uh, it was just. My first instinct was the kitchen had a back door. It was my first instinct was to throw it out the back door into the snow. Instead, I just burned my hands and dropped burning grease all over the house. <laughs> the kid picks up the frying pan to throw it out the door, but he burns his hand on the red hot handle, drops the pan, and the fire spreads even more. I don't think the video even says what benefit there is to this. It just says to do it. No, I wonder how many babies died in the womb because of this video. We well, had a lot of babies born with shaken baby syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten all that I've learned about fire safety. Tell them to be cool. Be cool. Be cool about fire yeah. safety. Be cool about fire safety. Yo, be sad and be cool, y'all. Be cool about fire safety. <laughs> you gotta be cool. Uh, when his father receives a top secret fax, Stuart is the first to recognize its importance. So okay. there's gonna be technology involved in this film. 1990s technology. I, I don't care at all. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. Oh, oh. my god! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is confirmed not a children's movie. You got something from Uncle Steven? And you're familiar with what he's working on, right? 28 takes, and that was the best one. <laughs> you show me how you take care of that, okay? Guys, did you just see her just reach her hand right into the grill and get burned? Is that what happened? <laughs> yeah. yeah, their child's an idiot. Right in front of her dad. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, no. 
We're not born with it. We have to learn it. And that's why we're here. To learn about safety sense. Why is that microphone so big? This is the sink. It's just that small. It's a normal microphone. No. Appropriate answer. There's a man trying to break in the front door of my apartment. My name is Jack Example, and I love him. Jack Example! <laughs> what an unfortunate last name, Jack. Well, well, what I learned from Key Matters was that people come in all colors. But if you're Hispanic, you still talk with an accent. <laughs> wow. Um... That's what I've learned. Excellent. The last thing I want to come home to is something. Oh my god. Look. Rich, did you live there? <laughs> Rich was cooking french fries. Yeah. Amir's trying to get in my back door. This is Joe Exhibit. Whoa. Did you, say, did you say the mayor was trying to get in her back door? <laughs> the other actors are of note, I guess. One was in Punky Brewster. Yeah, and then... Yes, Tremors. And the other one was in Tremors. And then Ron Howard's father. So it's an all-star cast. <laughs> you can't hide from a fire. Yeah. Doors don't just open. A very, very strong wind. There's latches. It was probably locked. I've, I've seen that happen. That happened at my, my grandmother's house once, where the right. wind blew the door open. What? That happened. She was there, though, right? Yeah. So there you go. I was there. I just I remember the door opening, what and there the was fuck? wind. I don't even know what's happening anymore. What, what the, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and wrap your arms around his waist as if you were giving him a hug. She's giving him the Heimlich maneuver. It zooms in on her face, right? And she and she's just all you see is this. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so glad she wasn't the one choking. An internet service provider? What's that? That's the it's, a, it's an internet service provider. <laughs> <laughs> you might recruit a computer savvy friend or relative to help. Or small child. I thought this is the point of this. Teach you how to do it. <laughs> spent 18 bucks in this video so you can just tell me to get someone else to do it. <laughs> That's the genius of the video. It's so easy. Even I can do it. And it's easy to do too. Even I know how. Colin from Canada. How did you get in here? I don't know. Oh, Jim Cotta! <laughs> what was she what shooting? Was she shooting at? Look out! They just filmed the cops shooting. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we'll whip it up in 15 minutes and we'll put this cover on it. We'll sell it around the same time The Incredible Hulk comes out, make some money and move on. Or was the director just delusional? That's, that's the big question and that's the, the question that we like we grappled with the whole time. And that was just, it was tearing us apart, Lisa. The answer is yes. Which one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no more failures! <laughs> it's the director. There's, there's this wonderful fight scene where he's just doing unnecessary gymnastics. Do it, yes! <laughs> there's no reason for that to be there. <laughs> I hope this is uh, Wait, his hands are powered. Are his hands shot? <laughs> Why don't you just run into him? <laughs> this is great! <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you OK? 
Okay. A lot of the characters in this movie are supposed to be some sort of other ethnicity, but they're all just like dumb looking white guys in turbans. You are American. Yeah. No. So am I. It's not. <laughs> That's, the That's what was the most shocking was that I really thought V-World Matrix would just be the worst thing that we watched today. And it turned out to be the second worst thing <laughs> that we watched today. I am very glad you phrased it. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. This just Breaking in. News. Breaking oh news from Rich Evans. Jesus god. In our research department, P directed many hit films such as <clears throat> Satan's Black Wedding, <laughs> Wendy's Naughty Night. Oh, I see where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. Mike can't. Uh, Mike, I'm sorry. I'm having a moment. My, my, my colleague is a little under duress at the moment. Um, so Satan's Black Wedding, Wendy's Naughty Night. Fire. <laughs> okay. Oh no. I feel like I can do this. You can do this. I have faith in you. Okay. Satan's Black Wedding, Wendy's Naughty Night, Fire in Her Bed, and. Sex weirdo. <laughs> oh, sex weirdo, I know that film. <laughs> Confessions of a dirty pair. A dirty a what? Dirty what? A parrot? Pear, pear. Not a parrot, but a pear? Pear? Fuck you. Like a pair of, like, people. Like, oh, I thought it meant like, like a, a fruit. fruit. Uh -huh. right, his next, his fourth film, please, on the list. Yeah, yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Sappho 60. <laughs> Okay, okay. Sappho 68. Darling, are you bored of men? Kept. And I'll give you these. Okay, please Kept. finish the list. Kept. Uh, uh, Nympho. Right. That's obvious enough. Um, the prequel to Sex Weirdo. <laughs> yeah, the erotic Mr. Rose. <laughs> his name's Mr. Rose, and he's erotic. Um. <laughs> the slut. Oh. <laughs> oh, his other movie titles were subtle. <laughs> Everyone's awkward. Yeah. Except for the director, I guess. Who was yeah. furiously masturbating. <laughs> Everyone is awkward. Yeah. Except for the director and maybe Rich Evans. <laughs> who was furiously masturbating. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jay, what's going on? Uh, well, in addition to us shooting this episode uh, around Halloween time, today is also Rich Evans' birthday. And uh, recently, Mike discovered this old photo from Rich's birthday. And so we, uh, as a present, we have painstakingly uh, recreated this lovely shirt that he's wearing, and we're, we're gonna give it to him as a, a birthday slash Halloween episode gift. Well, Rich, we figured you might not wear a Halloween costume today, so we got one for you, and you just might recognize it. Okay. Do you remember it from a very special day when you were five or three or something? What the fuck? <laughs> How, why do you have this? <laughs> why do you have that? Happy birthday, Dick the birthday boy. <laughs> Did you like steal my old family <laughs> photographs? Is there like an album of mine in your possession? This is creepy. I'll be on the bridge. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she got. That's so great! 
I think the movie itself is haunted. Oh. It is. How else do you explain the showbiz pizza bear? Oh my God, we haven't talked about the show Miss Pizza that, Bear. That is the most important element of this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Explain, Rich. So after Mike saved my precious heirloom, yeah, and it had a picture of me with this birthday boy shirt and the Showbiz Pizza next to the Showbiz Pizza Bear. Yeah. Here, 30 years to the day later, not only am I wearing the same shirt, but we're watching this movie. And there he is. Yes, being carried out on a stretcher. <laughs> so <laughs> this is a bear. Dead. Ah, what the fuck? Ah, oh my god! <laughs> it's a Halloween miracle. Oh my god! Are we? Oh, 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 oh yeah! 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 <laughs> Every time that Margaret and I go to a hunting show, we hear stories about how a noisy tree stand ruined a chance at a big buck. Wow. Have you done something to your hair? No. And that's where he should be less concerned about tree stand safety and more concerned about being cool about fire safety. Be cool about fire safety. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's old. You know what I would like is if there was a disclaimer at the end that just said no animals were harmed in the filming of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! It's like a puppet now. <laughs> I'm gonna make you talk. <laughs> the same time as this tremendous big shiver, a spurt of quite thick, sticky stuff comes from the end of the man's penis. That's a lot of cum. <laughs> I was smart. I figured it all out on my own by the time I was two. Oh, Rich. Oh, that's what happens, yes, of course. It makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. Did Nano tell you about the birds and the bees? No, nobody told me about the birds and the bees. It was all, all self-taught. The birds, birds and the beads? Birds and the beads, right? <laughs> there's, a, there's a bead involved somewhere. I've never had no, sex. No, that's that's when anal beads. There's oh, anal beads. Oh. Did you type? Did you type what is sex on Google? Or, like, and you just got anal beads. Just, like yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Amazon links that's to what, anal beads. You know what? If you can use anal beads with somebody, that's true love. That's true. Well, speaking of anal beads, let's talk about instant adoring boyfriend. Will you marry me? No. No. Uh, he will always be in a good mood. Uh, he doesn't drink alcohol. Will not force sex upon you. It does oh, not say okay. that. That's not true. It doesn't say, say he where? will not force where? sex upon you. I swear, it let does. Me see, let me see. Parents always say it. Fire! Fire! Oh my God! It's getting out of control! It's getting out of control! Oh dear God! the line we want your son to say, man. He moves into the mall. He lives he by a body outline. <laughs> he does. <laughs> just, That's just, always been my dream. Which is the outline. a murder scene. While he's talking, it just goes right, it cuts to the little girls, and they're just sitting there, and they're just listening. The elves were a genetic engineering experiment. And the Nazis yeah, had rape you. experiments and... <laughs> and they're like, really, Daddy? What's a, what's a gas-powered dildo? <laughs> what's a rape experiment? Like, how does that work? Well, I don't think any 
woman's gonna willingly fuck that troll, so obviously this is a rape <laughs> experiment. <laughs> It's this disgusting little two foot tall troll. <laughs> the Nazis really wanted to crossbreed humanity with those things to create a master race? <laughs> so they, can... they, they run around in the woods and eat their own shit. <laughs> in Germany in the 1940s, there was a rash of dick stabbing assassins. <laughs> and no one figured it out until today. <laughs> That would strike fear into my heart. <laughs> stay, in, stay, in, stay in line with the Nazi party or we're gonna stab your dick. <laughs> yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. A little awful <laughs> shove a knife in your balls. <laughs> this is the two greatest lines in the movie. What are you, a goddamn Nazi or something? Is that elf yours? Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you a Nazi? Is that your elf? Grizzly <laughs> Adams, you don't know how to read. <laughs> well, that was the longest trail off of a witch oven's life I've ever heard. These little helpers are from Africa. Oh my, oh my god! god. Yay. What? That's what children from Africa look like. All of them. Yep, all of them. <laughs> What the hell happened? Why did I get this red makeup on me? What is that? <laughs> what happened? I said, I don't know. Where did all these children go? <laughs> and they're asking, <laughs> they're asking to just go home. <laughs> Picture them on the beach, like in Mexico, they just wake up in the morning, there's all this shit everywhere. A couple of the kids just don't wake up. <laughs> the one in the sombrero was like moving. <laughs> Will the vicious scum take over the earth and get all of the great looking babes? <laughs> oh my god, let's go watch this fucking movie. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, they're not even trying anymore. Oh, Jesus oh, fuck. God. Oh, oh. Beer makes everything better. <laughs> Just give it up. Then the father gives one of his daughters to Yor, mm -hmm. who instantly wants to fuck Yor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tarita and the little ones are my children. According to our custom, Tarita's life now belongs to you. She will be your mate. Take me with you, stranger. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The point is they make dildos out of yours dick and then he... <laughs> yeah, no, no, J Jackie Rogers Jr. Uh, stops all the Spaceballs drones. Yeah. And uh, Emperor Skeletor tries to make it to press this button and fails because he's been stabbed by a candy cane. <laughs> Yours entertaining. I enjoyed watching it. Yeah. There were elements that were very fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And again, it seemed like it could have been like a like a sword and sorcery epic, but for family viewing because no nudity, not much violence. Yeah. Oh, oh no! God. Let's do it again. Oh fuck this! Hold on, hold on, wait. Let's do it. Rules rules. No, we can't. Let's start again. We okay, can't. Okay, let's just.
No. Can we? Uh... No, we have to. Here's the... you're, you're wasting a spin. Now it's gonna land on something good we can't watch. <laughs> Okay, shut it off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please make welcome to the stage, the incredible Shoji Tomichi! Um... Oh! This is... This is unexpected. This is unexpected. This is amazing. Um... Uh, what do we do? I don't know. Did we watch it? It landed on it. I don't know. Do power, do all that I could. Uh, there oh. it is. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's a laser it's fiddle! A, it's yes. a 3D laser projection. <gasps> it's the big moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Uh oh, I saw, this is it. This has got to be Yeah, it. this has to be him. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Choji! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please make welcome to the stage, the incredible Shoji Tabuchi! Yay! <laughs> Where I go? Everybody's going out and having fun. I'm just a poor girl staying home. Oh, he's terrible! So is there anything else to say about kitten commotion? Uh, it's possibly the worst thing I've ever seen. How many yep. things have you said that about now, though? Everything. Well, okay. It's not the worst thing we've ever seen, but it is a kitten calamity. <laughs> <laughs> that was so terrible. <laughs> uh, what what are you that? holding back? <laughs> a, a kitten calamity, yeah, I was holding that one back. You know what, though? I, I give it four stars out of 50. <laughs> We were hoping for a, some kind of corporate training video, but yeah. it turned out, yeah. or or a video of the finishing event. Yeah. Or like a, a, video, donut, a donut making a, a, a donut, donut making competition yeah. would have been great. Or a video of Bob Rosenberg finishing. <laughs> um, that could have been happening. It was a shot from like the here's our up. new frosting. <laughs> here's our new. <laughs> we got, we got. Bob, Bob Rosenberg's <laughs> last his last video before being fired. <laughs> He's just drunk and fucking done. I got some glaze for you. His name starts coming up in giant letters. It's really awesome. And then you see these legs walking down the stairs, and there's lights behind him. And then he walks to the microphone. Hey, whoa, everybody! <laughs> Folks, we will try to do every kind of music there is. I'm sure it's a bunch. <laughs> was he drunk? Or I, I, we, I, I think he was both drunk and English. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I think English? it was both. Drunk English. Well, that's getting cut. I know exactly what we need to destroy tonight. Oh, you know what? <laughs> that's a good zoom, that 1940s camera. It's such, it's such a good zoom that you can see on the other side of the rocket. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> what? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what? my God. Okay. He's going to get frozen, and then he's going to find that kid all grown up. And yeah. All, the thing. all right. You mean, you were the little boy? You he know saw him? <laughs> what? <laughs> I saw you way down there. <laughs> Here we go! Well, we're not watching that one. <laughs> yeah! Oh! 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 o
Okay. Cleared for takeoff. <laughs> Who's who came up with the wheel of the worst? That was that fucker Rich Evans. Get out of here, you fucker! It's Tales from Genesis Space! Let's go! Can it be fixed? Haha, <laughs> 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 I have no regrets! <laughs> hey look, there's a 1-800 number on the back. Oh, call it. <laughs> what do you want to think this number is now? Is this... It's gonna be a sex line again. Sex line? This is 1994. Let's take a guess. Okay. Sex line or your call cannot be completed as dialed. I'm gonna guess neither. It's gonna be something else. It's, but it it's won't a be... plumbing company now. This is getting us nowhere. <laughs> Just like the video. This, this is more exciting than the for takeoff. It's true. Right? The anticipation with every this, ring. This is nice. Hi, you've reached Seth Levine and Seth Levine Productions. Please leave a message and I'll return your What should I say? Should... Order the next video. Yeah, hello. Um, I I'm stuck up here at a 747. The the pilot just had a heart attack. Um, oh, this video. I've, I've got a copy of your video here cleared for takeoff, but I don't have a VCR to watch it in. I was hoping you could tell me how to land this plane. Hold on, there's some turbulence. Okay. okay, everyone stay calm. Stay calm, it was just turbulence. Okay, if you can get back to me with how to land this plane, um, see how much gas I have. In the next 20 minutes, uh, we would really appre appreciate it here. Thank you. Have a nice day. So there's a couple cameos during the rapture. Oh yes. Moses and my main man G's. <laughs> that looked just uh, uh, <laughs> Why am I flying on the cross? <laughs> Fortunately, this is a one-way flight. For cleared for takeoff. We're cleared for takeoff. <laughs> we are cleared for takeoff. Hey, who's that guy? I'm Jim. I'm also a visual effects artist from Canada. Jay. The Canadian visual effects artists are multiplying again. I, I, the phone's not even plugged in. Oh, yeah. What? Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> the he's just a, actually not the oh, president. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> 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 <Nice person. laughs> Hello, this is the president. <laughs> it just pulls out, he's in a psych ward. <laughs> <laughs> the last one wasn't even aimed at him. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the terrorist, the main terrorist, decides that a more noble death than being punched by Frank Stallone would be to jump out a window and get awkwardly shot by cops as you're falling to your tumbling to the ground. Uncle and his mother are both younger than him. <laughs> Good. Mom, we've got to move fast. What's the address? Mom? Mom? Mom! Maybe he was pre adopted. <laughs> Let's just shoot here. <laughs> Why aren't they in an official police car? <laughs> what the hell? What was that? Would you
would you say this is Amir Chevron's uh, Last Temptation of Christ? <laughs> I don't understand what that means. I know that movie, but that's a you good know, movie. It was controversial, and people hated it because it made them sick, the content. You know, saying bad things, but ah, whatever. Did it have a, a man with a perm mullet in it? <laughs> Did Jesus, Jesus have a perm mullet in Last Temptation of Christ? Almost. Rich, can you just think about the fact that you just compared Killing American Style to The Last Temptation of Christ? <laughs> just think about that. High voltage. Well, that sounds shocking. From like his kind of his almost elbow up, and it looks like it really it's not hurts. even out of window. It's off a fucking roof. Oh! Yeah! Oh! Oh! That, was that was really good. The it was a little uncreative in terms of you know it was a very John Woo ripoff, but <laughs> oh no, that's the best of the worst. <laughs> Yeah, great action scenes and and, and great sound, sound. Yeah. really oh, great sound effects. Even, even though that was that seemed to be an emerging I don't, theme. I don't know from about um, the the films that we are watching. Antonio Sabato Jr.'s guns, like <laughs> amazing sounds, <laughs> and and that really hit home the action for me. But when you when you and hear really the, <laughs> the, the sound, if I if I'm gonna if if we're gonna talk about the sound, it's. <laughs> And the, and the action too. Yeah. It's just it was really good. The was plot not so much, but they knew the dragon's girl was on their side at that point, right? Yeah. Couldn't she just tell Our them where it was? <laughs> oh. Except oh for the gigantic boom mic sticking out from behind the door. <laughs> Those messages on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> it popped out like comically. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite part about that scene, by the way, is that he yells. <laughs> pauses yeah. and then gets out. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Next is Kid Sand Airbags. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jennifer. <laughs> what? Is that gunshot? That was a gunshot. <laughs> hey, you guys. I'm Ted. I'm here. <laughs> First, you didn't like my friends. Stop it! Oh my God. Soon he had a list that never ends. Till with all the changes. I hope she falls down the stairs. <laughs> she doesn't bother me anymore. <laughs> What did you do to her? Probably because of your face. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. But it's pretty obvious, I think, that the one thing the guy wants is sex. And rightfully so. Come on. Now here's the um. <laughs> Holy balls. A step ladder. A step ladder. All right, Colin, it's time to spin the wheel. Get ready to strengthen your bones and have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Once you find your heart rate, you begin with a count of zero, and we will hold your heart, count your heart rate for 15 seconds. Ready and begin. <laughs> oh god, oh god! I don't know if the one on the right is alive. This, this no, I, is, it's bringing my heart it rate up. <laughs> Two. No. Three. No. 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 All right, you got it. Right, you got it. You got it. Fuck up. <laughs> You're such a fuck up. <laughs> You're never gonna go anywhere in life. <laughs> oh god damn it. That's why you can't afford to retire and you have to work in shitty videos like this. <laughs> None of it makes any sense. A year ago. Look out for the ele electrical. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming right out. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> hey mom, let me help with the dishes. Come on. What? What the fuck? This is gross on you, thing! That doesn't make any sense. Oh my god. Oh my god.
I guess I passed out or something. But when I woke up, in the water? he was carrying me out of the water. And this is a lie. <laughs> uh, this is a this is a video to show them how to uh, keep fit while not uh, doing any high impact uh, exercises that Mike uh, Mike <laughs> might break their bones. Ironically, they're nothing but bones at this point. <laughs> Jimmy. Well, everyone's thinking it. Look at it. Uh, every, everyone's you're, thinking you're, it. You're gonna feel really bad when you find out they're still alive and they watch this. <laughs> The grandkids like, oh, grandma, you're on the, you're on this show that I like. You know, you know why they're still alive? Because they did the dance of Astro. <laughs> no, no. You broke Colin. <laughs> oh no, Colin's right. He'll be fine. <laughs> I, I don't know if the video would be helpful. That's all I feel about it. Is I, I mean, it's a few steps here and there, and I just sort of feel an elderly person could walk around <laughs> their, their habitat. <laughs> And, and get as much exercise that way. <laughs> well, the, the, the video was, was instructed by Tayson Day. With, uh, <laughs> with, uh, with, what did you say? Tayson Day. With, and he had three, uh, six vaginas. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Then we do marching in place with a little dip to your knee as you lift your leg. What you want to do is don't ah. fall over. Yeah. She's got like seven camel toes. <laughs> no. oh. Oh. That's camel feet. <laughs> no. Linda kept fucking up. Well, they should have. She was the worst. She was seriously the worst yeah. elderly osteoporosis dancer I've ever yeah. seen. And there are only two of them, so that's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> Considering the dance is pretty simple. Terrible. Yeah. I mean, how hard is it to follow those steps? Like what? They're like 70, right? I don't know. It's 70 pushing 80, yeah. <laughs> That's no excuse. <laughs> it's no excuse, really. Like, how, how hard is it to fucking move your arms? <laughs> Come on. Oh, the kitchen, the kitchen counter, counter dance. The kitchen counter, the kitchen dance. counter okay. dance. Which is really unfair, because that suggests that every single person with osteoporosis has a kitchen yeah. counter to dance from. <laughs> But that can, no, but that. They so. should have brought in three kitchen counters yeah. for them to hold on. I think the point was that they have to hold on <laughs> to the kitchen counter for dear life to keep from falling over. Like, <laughs> I think that's it. It was like Apocalypse Now. <laughs> makes, well, except well, more heart attacks. <laughs> I'm surprised the instructor could keep it going with, with the smell of urine in the air. <laughs> but Tayson Day did a great job. She's a professional. Yeah. <laughs> they call her old camel feet. <laughs> you know? Okay. I'll call her that for, for nothing. She's, she's tough. Yeah, they don't call her that for nothing. Yeah, she's tough. She can keep her water in, yeah. unlike the old ladies. <laughs> it's just leaking out. <laughs> Nobody likes osteoporosis, but they do dance about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is about. It's a celebration of osteoporosis. Keep them around here. Yeah. Why would you ask someone on a bus if they're from around here? Are you from on that the bus? Make any sense? <laughs> do you, do you live you, on a bus? Are you from bus? You're sort of in the middle of being anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they just got on the bus together recently. Rich, I made my point. <laughs> Counter it, please. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm anybody in this movie? Yeah. Oh my god! Did you see that? What? The camera just moved. Which well, your camera? Yeah, it just moved. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Freeze frame on that toy helicopter. Yeah. That, was, that was adorable. A great you mortality. Uh, mortality? I have mortality. <laughs> <laughs>
because the Amish are known for for fighting that. vampires. Okay. The sure. Amish are known for warding off vampires. This yeah. is well known. This is a well known fact. Uh, are you making that up right now? Oh, they don't like the sun, and the Amish don't use electricity. <gasps> that makes no sense. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> comic artist Freddie Williams. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm definitely not here to steal your horse ninja comic book idea and pass it off as my own. Uh, and Marvel's definitely not interested in publishing it for me. I'm very familiar with this video. It was on the wheel last time. Uh, I hate it. I haven't seen it, but I hate it. I hate Patty Wooten, and I hope she gets Ebola. The same things which cause ice dams in the winter may cause your roof to rot. Okay. Look at this, this was shot over a year. This is like the boyhood of ice dam video. God damn it. Except it's much more emotional and more invested in this. Do you want to stop and call someone? Oh no! They didn't. They didn't bother with like the wacky song. Like, yes. be cool about airbag safety. Mm -hmm. You know, like they didn't need a song. P Puffy the the airbag bearer. <laughs> <laughs> I will fuck up your face. <laughs> no, we didn't need that. Because I it, get large extremely fast. <laughs> yeah. You know, maybe we could do a fourth spin, and then I could be sure that I was. <laughs> Does anyone want to take this challenge? Who wants to take the challenge? One person can take the challenge. Rich, do you think Rich you could do it? Like the man do, they, the do they have to be in order? They don't have to be in order. You just, you just have, have to, to list name all, all of them. Different oh, types. Yeah. yeah. Monkeys riding dogs. Pig showdown. <laughs> uh, mice and rocks. Different type of mice and rocks. <laughs> uh, that still counts as one. Yeah. Raccoon digs in rocks. <laughs> uh, rodent goes in and out of a grate. <laughs> that was a chipmunk. Whatever. B birds feeding on some kind of bird feeder things. Uh, uh, ten round fight between a squirrel and a pair of ravens for nuts. <laughs> Turkeys running through a field. Fake dog cam. Dog looking at a TV, barking at a TV. <laughs> Toll free number on the back. Oh, oh why? Why? I think we should call it. Let's see if it's still in service. Uh, D I N. Do it now, Incorporated. Questions and comments. So they are encouraging. They are encouraging that. Okay, well, give me the number, Jay. Okay, uh, it's one. <laughs> four. <laughs> oh, Rich. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, hi. My name's Dan Wilson. I just remember it used to be for a for a video thing. I got a I got a video from you guys. It's called Dog Sitter. Well, it gave me a great idea. You see, I run Iowa's largest wildlife preserve, and I want to produce a video for giraffes. Just imagine how many zoos are in this country. I, I got an idea. You see, it's like this. We're gonna we're gonna build all these platforms in downtown Manhattan. And then we're gonna walk guys around with cameras, and it's gonna be like a like a giraffe's night out in Manhattan. All these platforms are gonna be 15 feet in the air. We're gonna put it on a DVD. And I, I you know I know those kids like the toys, so I want to bombard every DVD with solar radiation. I think that'll create some kind of magnetron. And that'll let everyone tries to copy the video. It's like a a beam's gonna fly right into their eyes, like Raiders of the Lost Ark. 
when? Wait, hold on, they've come back. Wait, let me, let me go, what's going on? Get away from my door. Hold on, I gotta go shoot some guys. I'll talk to you later. My name's John Wilson. I run Iowa's largest wildlife preserve. <laughs> Cynthia Rothrock. Remember Cynthia Rothrock? Was she on the Flintstones? What? What? Ah! Please let me go. He's gonna use her like a punching bag. That would be awesome. I mean, not, it's not awesome to hit women. It would be a, a visual. Cold <laughs> <laughs> rape core wear. Rape code. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> and I need you to get a message to Sergeant Nick DeMarco immediately. Or anybody. Or just any, any yeah. police officer. <laughs> if Nick's there, that's cool. If not, just send a bunch of cops to the Rape Co. building. <laughs> You'll never guess what's happening there. <laughs> uh, what's Mark's wife's name? Uh, Mark's wife. Correct. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's a completely coincidental name. <laughs> so he was very lucky to have married somebody whose name was Mark's what's wife. Your name? I'm Mark's wife. Yeah. That's Let's the get married! That car's blown up. Look how old it is. That car's gonna fucking blow up. I told you! Yeah. <laughs> it's a surprise the audience, even though we knew when she pulled out in the 40-year-old car that they got, you know, <laughs> for totally 50 did bucks. Not, like, that didn't had even black have an smoke coming out of the back. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> Probably. Okay, yeah, they're gonna blow that car up. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And she's like, Mark, Mark! And the camera's like 40 feet away. <laughs> That car is blowing up. There's a badass bazooka that has an uncanny ability. It makes everyone jump. <laughs> yes. And finally, everybody else is dead and he gets up to Bill. And then Bill, Who's, who's the main bad guy? Bill's, the ba Bill's like the, the major domo. The mega criminal Bill. He's. <laughs> The main boss. Famed, renowned, sociopath, scourge of the, the free world, Bill. Recruit more pimps, more pushers. <laughs> Buy informers. Someday I want to be able to say, recruit more pimps. Dr. Manners, this is how we're doing. He hasn't collected enough eyes yet to necessitate two. You think he'd get there? Try that again. He hasn't collected enough eyes yet to necessitate two. You think he'd get there? <laughs> necessitate. Necessitate. Do you want another beer? Necessitate. Huh? It's necessitate. Necessitate. You're, you're missing Somebody. a whole syllable. In. Okay. He, do he doesn't have enough eyes yet to necessitate. Nece ne <laughs> Fuck it! Fuck it, I'm done. I hate you people. I know you do. Why am I here? I know you hate us, especially me. I could but be working at a toll booth. That would be preferable. Could you get that job? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't mean that as an insult. Oh, I meant, I didn't, oh, no, 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 no. damn! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, I guess Rich was defeatable. Oh. <laughs> earns money by 
it's almost like touch football, Kinda. equivalent of of what what uh, Stingray yeah. does. The tame street fights take place in a dirty alley. It's it's like the touch football version of street fighting. That's what you just said. That's what Mike just said. He just said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God damn it! <laughs> he said that two seconds ago. <laughs> So that was, it was a really good show. I mean. There is a hook just kind of situated wait, wait, on the wall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before what? we get there, what? we need to talk about shirtless dudes. <laughs> Old women in golf carts, like that you're asking for a good time. Jared will follow. So we can only assume there's it's like comedy slash dance routines. I, I don't know what to expect. Other than flashy costumes, I don't know. Old Do you, women forgetting who their children are. <laughs> Well, they're, they're hit songs because they had to hit the children to get them to sing in the video. <laughs> well, you're... You, can, you can tell looking at that, that, that ginger boy that, that he's been abused. <laughs> you're gonna sing in that video! You're gonna sing! I was I was a casual acquaintance with this one guy. I used to go to the yeah, I used to go to the, the local uh, the baseball games, the, the minor league baseball games, and there was a guy. Oh minor had, league baseball games. He had, he had season ticket seats next to me, and we got we got you know we're we we're friendly enough, and uh, I, I I went over to his place once just to hang out. He Could this get like, more awkward? <laughs> well, in 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 his room hanging up is a picture of him as a child in a Wendy's ad, and it's like framed and on his wall. Like he was still proud of it. Yes. Okay, that's every like, kid in this video. You're you're an old man now. Take that take that picture of you in a Wendy's ad from 1991 <laughs> off of the fucking wall. But the real question is, how did you end up in his bedroom? <laughs> it was well, it was just, it was just, it was just to show me his place. It was like, come on, come on around, Let's see this. That's how they get you. That's why you don't talk to strangers, Rich. You, you needed this video. Did he try to sell you Amway? <laughs> <laughs> or did he did he try to put his finger in your ass? <laughs> what the fuck, Mike? Did he turn on Huey Lewis in the news and put on a poncho? <laughs> <laughs> he showed me his Warhammer figurines. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Man. Oh. <laughs> Did he take his balls out? His, his baseballs. Because you guys are, are avid fans of minor league baseball. Did he take his Warhammer out? Guy, he said he has two big ones. I hate you so much. He wants to show, I hate you. He wants to show you his, his, his minor league bat and balls. Rich, you started to tell a story about a guy inviting you over to his house and you going into his bedroom. You had to have known after this was going to happen. After you guys both shared a foot long at the baseball game. <laughs> I mean... You didn't have to add Lady in the Tramp style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. He said, put, put this wiener in your mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you want to share a wiener, is what he said. And Rich said, okay. And then, it's back in my place. I want to show you my Wendy's ad. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> And the funny part is, is that our elderly jokes started to get old. Thanks, <laughs> thanks really. That was great. Thanks. That was, that was good. That's the, thank, thank you, thank you. And this number is called, Don't Get Around Much. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of no, no, it's a lesbian <laughs> with, with a saxophone. <laughs> That's the only time she puts something in her mouth. At least if she's a lesbian, she can't get AIDS. Oh. Oh. What? I don't know. I don't know. Should they have children? <laughs> she cannot have children if she's a, a lesbian. 